Hi oh, yeah, I'm George and today I'm going to show you how you can attract wildlife to your garden this summer. Now wildlife is fantastic because it gives us real pleasure to see it, but also great for them because they really need a helping hand. Water is fantastic for attracting wildlife. Since we've created our pond, we've seen frogs, toads, amphibians, dragonflies, damselflies, and even a heron. Now, if you don't have this sort of space to create a pond, you can even make one out of a bucket. Now, we've made our pond even more wildlife friendly by adding in some plants. Now, this is called yellow flag iris, and it's really good for dragonflies, because they actually live in the water to begin with, and they climb the stem and hatch into that beautiful, beautiful dragonfly, and they take off and fly. Now, we've also added an oxygenator, and that cleans the water and purple blue stripe, which is actually a native plant. Now this pond is absolutely full of tadpoles. Now another great thing that you can do for wildlife is to create log piles. Now they're a great home for things like amphibians and even hedgehogs because they didn't feel nice and safe in there. You can make them out of any old logs that you've chopped off the trees or that you just find in your garden anyway. But also, things like beetles like to drill holes into the dead wood and live in there. I love growing things from seed, but you tend to grow things like courgettes which you eat. Why don't you try growing things that are great for wildlife, like achillea, cornflowers, forage. Now these are really, really good for bees. And when they're big enough, you can plant them out in the garden and watch them pollinators buzz into your garden. It's super important to feed the birds, particularly at the moment when they've got chicks and need that nutrient. So go out, get yourself a bird feeder and some simple mixed seed which you can buy from any supermarket or garden centre and make sure your birds are well fed this summer. One of the best things that you can do in your garden to attract wildlife is to grow organically, which means that you don't use pesticides. One example of this is weed killer, and whilst it may make your garden look better, it can be really damaging to the environment and for wildlife. In our garden, we don't use any chemicals at all, and when the sun's out, the garden is full of insects, which in turn feeds the bigger things, and your garden is just full of life. <laughs>